Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven, and welcome back to Sucker for Love. Fuck, I, I fucked up the timing. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I'm trying to do the TV opening. I'm trying to do ah, uh, uh, I always game show host TV. Uh -huh. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sucker for Love Day to Die for, where we are in series two, and we're running from one cultist this time, just one very muscle bound and scary cultist whose name is Billy. Uh, but otherwise, we're just trying to do somewhat the same thing. We don't actually know because. Time has reversed, but also it hasn't. Apparently it's been, not reversed, we're just looping again, but it's been like millennia, according to uh, Roxanne, uh, since Stardust did the things that she did in the first series and now she's back. So we'll just have to see how Mu, the the book, the like the, the old odd shopkeeper book lady um, is doing this to us. That's what I think is happening. She wrote the book that we're using for the ritual. So I don't know. Anyway, let's get, let's get moving. Right, so we have to perform Beguiling Melody face toward a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal, ensure that it is on. Chant three times. I learned that estrus is essentially went like an animal, a female animal is in heat. So that's cool. Do I count as an animal now? Because I have the, okay, you know what? I don't need to think too hard about it. I shouldn't. Don't worry about it. Just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after chanting. Trust me, haha. -ha. Well, if you say so. Alright, let's roll. So we're heading down... Sorry, I don't know what's going on with me. We're heading down to the TV room, yes? I believe so. Alright, I'll see you guys there. Unless anything happens in the meantime. TV room. I gotta hurry or she'll get closer. Turn that on. Chant three times. Okay. I'm just gonna go this way. So that I can avoid her? Yep. Mm-hmm. This is fine. Back to Roxanne as fast as I can. Okay. We're- we're here. Psst, I'm back! Suddenly, a floral perfume-like scent washes oh, over me. Stardust. I was just oh! About oh you. my! Why well, you look different! I've just been so hopelessly distracted. Oh, by I, see I remember. All of my clothes in a it 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 increases aggression, estrus, all of that stuff. Whatever should we do? I mean, we've been doing it this whole time, and I feel like falling into this trap of getting involved with her romantically or physically before these three hearts are filled up in the top right corner. Bad idea. I think bad things will happen. All right, can't just. Fast track your way to or through a relationship like this, all right, guys. It, look, this this game is teaching us things. I don't know. I just want to spray it with the water. <laughs> oh, poor Roxanne. It's awfully trapped in here. There you go, man. Put your clothes back on. Oh, always in the mood. Oh, <laughs> wait, she's so cute. <laughs> It's a big t-shirt. What do you want? This is a real low point. No, it's fine. I'm keeping the shirt, by the way. Okay. I basically only used it for pajamas. Take it. Oh. I should reciprocate. Come here. Let, Let me, me do, do your, your horns, horns for you. you. It won't take long. I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new satyr-like spikes. Oh, look at you. So pretty. Mm, oh. My sweet buffalo pad. What? Uh, Gazintai. I feel the top of my horns, the tips have been adorned with a lustrous metal. I shake my head a few times. The fit is perfect. Wow. Was that Billy? It sounded like her bat. That was fun, but I'd better get back to the rituals. Damn. They've re <laughs> Ooh, uh, they've really- Hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? This one is Labyrinthine Roots. This will expose the psychoactive roots of the Black Woods, allowing them to burn without an accelerant this time. Cast outside, like on a porch or balcony, but face away from the woods. Ooh, okay. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete, which I imagine it will, will be revealed to me. So first, I go outside, 
on a balcony, which is near us right now, face away from the woods. Do not look at the woods in any way until the second phase of the ritual is complete. Okay, understood. And then we face away from the woods, and we chant. Now... You may have lost your sense of direction. This is normal. Stay calm. Do not directly view the woods in any way, windows and doors included, until the ritual is, is concluded. Avoid looking into any mirror. Find your way back to your partner. Chant to hide the roots from your sight. Okay, got it. No mirrors. No nothing. Okay, I need a chant. What? To hide the roots from your sight? Okay, I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Going this way. Okay, hide the roots from my sight. Okay. I do not know where to go now. Billy can't get me in here, but I don't know where to go. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh shit, oh shit, I gotta go backwards. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. This is fine. Oh shit. Oh! I made it back in! Wait, no, I need to not look at the thing. And then I need to... Chant. Oh! Oh my god, we did it, we did it, we did it! That was the- Oh my god, I, I managed it on my first try, too! That was the last ritual before I can uproot you. Um, that's... Great news. Oh, are you upset? What's wrong? It's nothing, but I love it when the saxophone kicks back in. If there's any loose ends left to tie up, now would be a good time to do it. Okay. Before uprooting me, that is. Okay. Haste makes waste, after all. I don't know what you're getting at, but I still haven't beaten Billy yet. If I don't do it now, I might not get another chance. But then again, Billy is scary as hell. I was able to survive all this time without getting spotted, but who knows how many times she's killed me in other realities. If I knew that exact number, I might be able to come up with a strategy. Uh, three. Yes? Okay, if your relationship with Roxanne is soured, blah 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 blah. Should have exposed the roots, no further re uh, reagents or rituals are needed to burn them, and while facing a heart's chance. Well, I want to go find Billy. Because if we can free Nanny, we can free Billy, I think. I want to see what her face looks like, too. I want her to take off the mask. So let's go find her. These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Alright, well let's go find Billy on purpose. Okay, okay, so here's what I did differently. Uh, because I think this is a good change. So what I did is I reloaded, because I- I feel like talking to Billy, like not seeing and interacting with her at all, I'm not gonna get the true ending. Because I can only imagine that, um, if I can free Nanny, and get her to leave the thousand. I can get Billy to do it too, because she's the only person that we've interacted with thus far besides Roxanne. Um, so, what I think we can do is, well, I mean, what I did is I reloaded to a previous save and let her kill me, because I know that this is supposed to track how many times she kills you. I had three before, three deaths. Th this marks the fourth, but instead it's just a lot of uh, different tally marks. And so we're gonna see if this changes things. I have no idea. These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Wow. Look at all the times I've kicked the bucket. Jeez. I'd had no idea I've died so many times, and yet I'm still here. Wait. That's it. Oh. She'll think we're immortal, which we kind of are, I guess. If I show this to Billy, I might make it out of this. I should wait here. Okay. Hi, Billy. Are you coming up the stairs? You never come up the stairs. It never seems like you chase me fast enough. Hello. Yeah, she's closer now. I wonder what her mechanics are like. Like, her AI when it comes to her chasing us. Because I always manage to avoid her pretty easily. Which might have been why I was never going to get the true ending. Though I'm assuming that this gets me the true ending. I don't actually know if that's really what's going to happen here. Hello? Billy? I want you to come up here. What are you doing? Yay. Now tell me you've given up. Um, I was clear what would happen if I caught you. There is no dishonor in killing you now. No, I know, but just wait a second. Actually, I can prove I'm stronger than you right here, right now, without throwing a single punch. 
take a look. You're bluffing. Is this some kind of a trap you set for me? No, 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 no. Just look. Not a trap. A scoreboard. Scoreboard? A 12-foot-tall cat girl in high heels from outer space carved these notches into the wall. Alright, come on. She's so nonchalant. I'm okay, I'm listening. Really? I... I haven't already lost you? That that, that makes sense to you so far? I work for a cult that worships a four-eyed goat tree from outer space. Your story really isn't outside the realm of, uh, believability. <laughs> Yet. Go on. Okay. She made these notches because she wanted to discourage me. She makes a permanent tally mark on the wall each time you kill me. She left this to prove I'll only lose against you, but actually, it's the only way I could have ever proven I've won. So, I've beaten you to death countless times? Mm hmm That's your point? Mm-hmm. My point is that my tenacity is infinite. All of these times I've lost and you're not any closer to defeating me. You see, right? This may be the number of times I've fallen, but also it's the number of times I've come back. Ugh. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Mm hmm However, all you've proven is that we're in a state if you really believed, I'd spare you because we're tied. All right, I thought that this was going to get me something a little <laughs> I'm different. I'm sorry to say. I mean, we did, but your your personal honor code means you only listen to someone that's stronger than you, right? And you listen to Buck. That must mean that he's stronger than you because he's immortal. Even if I managed to break him in two now, he could beat me the next time we met by already knowing oh. what I was going to do. Oh. That makes him stronger than but he'd be worse for wear, right? He keeps the mental and physical trauma from all of your previous attempts to kill him. And I don't. I come back good as new every time without even remembering how I got my head handed to me. If Buck and I fought, I would eventually win because his injuries would accumulate and mine wouldn't. That makes me stronger than Buck, which makes me stronger than you. Well, what does she think? This train of logic? I fuck with it. This is sick. You're stronger than me without throwing a single. Ah! Uh, we love a warrior with a coat of honor. More if you spare me. Warrior queen. Hell yeah. Spare her? Jeez, she really does believe I'm much stronger than her. I mean, I guess I was telling the truth, but I didn't expect her to submit like this. She must take that honor code of her serious. Ugh, seriously. It's a deal What's on two conditions. Thing? What's the first one? Could you maybe take oh. off your mask? Hi! <laughs> her eyes, they're normal! Yeah, no, uh, thousand, or, uh, Sacramento stare. You don't have the Sacramento no, stare? I'm not one of the thousand. I'm not even from here, either. Damn, okay. So, what's the second order? <laughs> She's cute, I love freckles! Once I finish the uprooting ritual to set Roxanne free, I want to escape alive with the Done. book. Really? E easy as that? That's a but huge relief. Warned. When Buck sees me helping you... There's no way he'll let me shoot oh. again in his life. Okay. I'll either be dead or somewhere far, far away. Well, that's kind of where I want you because I want you to leave this, all of this. You don't really deserve to be a, like, you don't need to be a part of this. If I do this, this is the only time I'll be able to help you. Okay. We this love those. reality is your only shot. Hell yeah. One shot only? So this is the only time I'll be able to count on Billy? I better make it count. All right. Once I finish the last ritual, we're going. I'll watch your room until then. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, dude, we love a good delinquent. Hell yeah. Hey, I was wondering, what exactly is your honor How code? How long do you have? We're surrounded by a thousand people that I'll want me you dead. i short version then. I only listen to people stronger than me. For example, I don't follow any law written by somebody who benches less than 450. Okay. Isn't that basically all of them, though? Yeah. If some dusty old fart couldn't force me to return my shopping carts in person, why do I have to do it because of a law Look, they wrote while wearing You should just do that because you're a good person, right, Billy? It's not illegal to not return your shopping carts. Really? It's not? No, but it's kind of weird that you don't anyways. If you can't move a shopping cart from one end of the parking lot to the other, I owe you nothing. <laughs> okay, Billy, you got anything else to talk about? So, um, were you always like this? What do you mean? I mean, were you just running around with a baseball bat before you got abducted? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Was that, like, your job? No. I did odd jobs, like farm work. Bats just for solving problems along the way. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then, I was living uh. here and trapped in this town. Oh. Same as you. I crossed paths with Bach, and I got stuck as their de facto hatchet man. Rip. But then you popped up. 
someone that single-handedly mm -hmm. escaped the thousand. Sending Buck, running with his tail between his legs, to me. You're someone with blood that's worth bottling. Ooh. Someone who can give Buck and his goons what's been coming to him. That is the kind of person I've been <laughs> yeah. to take orders from that's dope. for a long time. That's dope. So cool. Anything else to talk about? No. Okay. All right. So we can finally just perform all the rituals, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's head all on right. down. Be on guard. Buck might be surveilling us. Okay. Okay. Got it. So we just need to go downstairs. Yes. Shouldn't be too bad. Now that we've got Billy with us, though, nothing bad can happen. She's got a bat. Have you seen her? She's killed me so many times, supposedly. I mean, really only four, but, uh, it's fine. Now we go down here, and then boom, boom. I'm so- I'm getting better at navigating this house quickly. So I need to face a- Uh, yeah, face a heart of the woods while facing a heart chance. Alright. Oh! Not yet. Please. Oh! Ro Roxanne, what are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams are something to look forward to. Now that you're here, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. How do I know oh, I'm going to be alone next time? What if you aren't there to make me feel safe? I don't want to leave. Okay, we can what? stay. I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. I can't. I know that. If we sit around and wait instead of ending this, oh now, man, doomed love. To both of us. Again, I don't know if Stardust really likes Roxanne. I know she's her ideal partner, but like, this is funny for me to be debating this when Eldritch D. I don't know. I don't know. Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. That's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. I'd never cut my time here with you short just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. That's very romantic. That. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they do. Well, apparently you. it's already happened hundreds of times, so. Yes, you could, you big old worry wart. Bad things happen, sure, but they always pass. Plus, you're immortal. Something good enough to make all of this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. You're right. No matter what happens. I hope you're right. Immortality is a curse more than a gift, and it always is. Okay. Whatever our time apart holds, I'll have the heart to face it. Thank you. Anytime, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Thank you. My sweet, My sweet stardust. stardust. All done here. Our woods are burning. Buck probably knows now. Yeah, you got it, Billy. Let's get out of here. Always playing the sad music when we have to escape. All right, what's the plan? Can you get us out of here? Remember that the thousand formed a perimeter around the house. If we run out blindly, we're finished. Mm -hmm. The burning roots are invisible too. So to stay safe, keep your feet on something that doesn't burn, like cement or water. Okay. I saw a pond on the foot. Oh. Buck, where is he? Oh, oh shit. She got shot. Billy. Oh, damn it. Okay. Jesus Christ, I gotta hurry. Oh no. Man, Billy. I just gotta make it out of here? Is that the idea? I didn't know if I could talk to Billy when she got shot. All right. Oh, there we go. Thank God that missed. Ooh, wait, he looks sick as hell. I turn around to see Buck silently loading another shell into a shotgun. That must hurt. Why is he so burned already? My skin isn't falling off like his. What happened to you? Many happened to. Oh, hearing that name. That was someone who helped me escape. Where is she? Trusted. So she's gone this time. Listen to that voice. Gone next time. Okay. Now give me the book. Don't bother telling me it's not with you. Because I'm shooting you either way if you don't hand it over right now. 
over my dead body. Dink, dink. There she comes. Here she comes. Now, are you? Well, boom. Nice. Billy. As I was saying, hold my rope to your mouth. Damn, she's metal. She's metal as shit. Wait in the water until the fire's burned over. Got it. What about you? I turn, rushing out the door. There's nobody standing between me and the pond. I've made it through this. I take one last look behind me. Oh. Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love. Date to die. Sucker for Love. Why do they always use bats? Huh. Looks like she was stronger than me after all. Kid. You've got your work cut out for you, kid. Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Hell yeah. Can't you find somebody Ooh, less princess. famous to get their hands dirty? I'm it's literally a child. <laughs> I'm so like the lonely devil arrives. The lonely devil arrives. Now who wants an autograph? I do. Me, 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 me. This is like chapter nine nine nine, right? Series nine nine nine. Perfect. Billy has left the thousand. Chapter two. Hell yes, guys. We're so goaded. We are so goaded. We are actually so goaded. I mean, sorry, no pun. Oh god, no pun intended. I didn't even realize. All right, so now we've got series 999 waiting for us with, um, the Lonely Prince. Prince, I, I literally have already forgotten what the name of this was, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. I will see you guys in the next video, so for now, have a good rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye!